A while back on my channel, I uploaded a bottled water testing video, which received a lot of views. Today I'll be testing the quality of 10 popular brands of spring water. We'll be testing for pollutants and other contamination in the drinking water. I'll be using this brand new calibrated 6-in-1 water analyzer. We will not be testing any RO purified bottled drinking water in this video because that type of water should be free of contaminants. The way this 6-in-1 tester works, over here you have sensors at this tip. You submerge into the sample up to that line. You push the button and it's going to give you a reading. Now the readings are six different readings. One is COD, which is chemical oxygen demand. Chemical oxygen demand is the measurement of biologically active substances such as bacteria, but also biologically inactive organic matter. You do not want to see a high reading for COD when testing the water. The next thing we'll be measuring is TOC, or total organic carbon. Now total organic carbon is a measurement of organic matter in the water. High levels can indicate the presence of chemicals, herbicides, or pesticides. And that's something most people are very interested in finding out when they're drinking spring water and not reverse osmosis water. The third test we'll be doing is for UV275. Now that is UV absorption value. What's going to happen, there's a UV LED in this tip when we place it in the water, and this analyzer is going to measure the amount of light absorbed by the water sample. You want to have those readings as low as possible. Higher values would indicate poor drinking water quality. The fourth test we'll be performing is for TDS, or total dissolved solids. Generally, you want to see a lower value, 250 or lower, but keep in mind, just because there's dissolved solids in the water, it does not mean they are bad. It may be minerals or salt. And the last test we will be performing is for EC or electrical conductivity. Ideally, you want to have an electrical conductivity value that is low as possible. Higher values would indicate more impurities in the water. This tester also has the ability to measure the temperature of the water, but we won't be looking at that test. All of these are at room temperature, around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. When I perform the test for each one of these different brands, you're going to see a number displayed on this screen. 100 is the best, and it goes all the way down from there. At the end of this video, you're going to know how each one of these drinking water brands rank against the other. Now the way the testing is going to be done to ensure accuracy, I'm going to take this beaker, take a sample, a small sample, from each one, one at a time. So I take this one here, pour it up to about that height, and then I'm going to place the tester in the sample just below that top line, push the M button very quickly, and it's going to give me the reading with the value between zero and 100. Once that's done, I'm going to take some distilled water, rinse this out really good. Also, rinse the head of this tester using distilled water and then I'm going to pour in the next sample and repeat the test for all 10. But before I test each one of these different brands of drinking water, first let's take a reading of the tap water in my house and then the water that's going through a GE carbon block, it's around 50 bucks from Home Depot, to see what the difference is between the tap water in my house and the water that's filtered using the GE filter. The 10 different brands we're going to be testing are Crystal Geyser, Icelandic, Eternal, Great Value, Walmart Spring Water, Voss, Evian, Fiji, Wayakia, Zephyr Hills, and Sprouts Spring Water. Let's start using tap water from my faucet. Insert this into the water. Push the button once. And I'm going to read you this. It says 80 good. Let's go over all the values. So right there it says COD 2.3, TOC 3.1, total dissolved solids 118, UV 275 is 0 0.031, conductivity 236, 
temperature 25.1. Okay, now this sample here is from my water purifier. Let's see what kind of a change it has in my tap water. All right, so I had 80 before. Over here it says 98, excellent. COD and TOC are wiped out. Before COD was 2.26 and TOC was 3.07. Total dissolved solids, slightly higher. UV 275, zero, excellent. Electrical conductivity is very similar to before. All right, so you can see right over here my city water, tap water, COD was 2.26, down to zero using the GE filter from Home Depot. TOC, 3.07, down to zero, excellent. TDS, slightly higher. Maybe it's some of the activated carbon inside the carbon block that maybe fell off, and that's why it went up slightly. UV, 275 was 0.031 down to zero. So everything that matters is now zero. And electrical conductivity, right about the same. Could be an indication of maybe some salt in the water. Value was 80 for the city water and 98 now for my filtered. Now let me show you rainwater from yesterday. We had a heavy downpour. I collected it. So let's see what the value is for the rainwater. Push it in here. <laughs> really, really good. Look at this. COD, zero. TOC, zero. 100. Excellent. TDS is only four. Everything looks good there. UV, zero. Electrical conductivity is eight. You don't get much purer than that. It's almost as good as RO or distilled water. First brand we're going to be testing is Fiji water, one of my favorite. That should be plenty. Sensor head was rinsed in distilled water and this entire container, as I said previously, or beaker, was rinsed with distilled water. So let's put this in. Here we go. All right, Fiji water, COD zero, TOC zero, TDS is 149, it's coming up 98, excellent. That's what I just said, let's push this. UV 275, conductivity, everything looks great. Let me write this down. Now we're going to test VAS. Here we go. One hundred, excellent. Let's see. COD zero, TOC zero, TDS six. EC electrical conductivity is eleven and zero for UV two seven five. Very good water. Now Evian. Ninety six, excellent. TDS three hundred. COD, TOC are all zero. U two seven five at zero. Electrical conductivity is right under six hundred. The next one we're going to be testing is Icelandic. Okay, let's push this here and see what it is. 99, excellent. COD, TOC is zero. TDS of 53. Zero on the UV 275. Electrical conductivity 105. So far, each brand is looking pretty good. Now, Zephyr Hills. Give the M a quick push. 
98. COD and TOC are both zero. TDS, 171. Electrical conductivity is 341. UV, 275 is zero. Now sprouts, spring water. Ninety-eight, excellent. Okay, this is the first one that actually showed up a small amount of COD and TOC. So we got 0.3 and 0.3. TDS is 24. Still low values. UV 275 is 0.003. EC 47. Now eternal. Ninety nine, excellent. COD TOC zero, TDS ninety four, UV two seven five zero, electrical conductivity one eighty eight. Now on to Waiakea, Hawaiian spring water. Ninety nine, excellent. So TDS, it's only 44. COD is zero. TOC is zero. UV275 is zero. EC, 88. Very good. Now, Walmart spring water. Very inexpensive. So it will be very interesting to see how this compares to the other brands. 97. COD 0, TOC 0, TDS 209. UV 2750, EC 418. Now the last one is going to be Alpine Spring Water Crystal Geyser. 99, excellent. And this is from the dollar store. COD is zero, TOC is zero, TDS is 31. Zero for the UV275, EC is 61. Okay, and here's a look at the results for all the testing that I did. You can see that every single brand of water, with the exception of Sprouts, had a zero for COD, TOC, and UV275. The reading was very low, so it's nothing bad, but there's still a reading there, and it's well below my tap water. You can see all the values. The highest was the rainwater, 100, followed by Voss, 100. 99 would be the Icelandic, along with Eternal, and Waiakea, and Crystal Geyser. To me, all of these brands of spring water have a very similar taste. The only one that's different is the Zephyr Hills brand. And based on price, the best deal for the money, in my opinion, is the Dollar Store's One Gallon Crystal Geyser brand. You can see how low all these numbers are, and it rates at a 99. If you'd like a filter for your house, it does a great job. You can see it went to 98. Everything is wiped out with the COD, TOC, and UV. Then you might want to look at the GE filter. If you don't know which one it is, I placed a link in the video description area showing the one that I have. And there's also a link for this tester if you're interested in testing your own water. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.